Good morning, LTWC. It's your girl, Shakaya. Welcome. We are so glad that you guys are joining us today. We want to give a big welcome to all of our family, friends, and guests. We are always, say it loud and say it proud, hashtag technically together. Now, if this is your first time joining us, we have three ways for you to connect. You can text LTWC to the number below. You can scan the QR code on the seat in front of you, or you can go to the connection table out in the lobby. We also wanna send a big hearty welcome to our new family members who completed Super Session this week. Thank you guys. You guys know what time of year it is, Friends and Family Day. I know, it came so quick. October 2nd is Friends and Family Day, a time to invite your closest friends, your closest family. Now, here's the question. Who is your plus one this year? Hmm, I think I know who I'm gonna invite. If you are looking for an opportunity to profess your faith, now is the time. Sunday, October 9th, we will be having baptism. I know this is super exciting. You can register now on the Church Center app or the link below. Registration closes on September 25th, so make sure that you register now. Do you have questions about prayer? When to pray, why to pray, what to pray? Well, we are holding a prayer clinic Saturday, September 24th at 10 a.m. You can register on the Church Center app or on the link below. Let's grow our prayer lives together and learn to ask and expect big miracles. And Friday, September 30th at 7 p.m., we have our faith healing and deliverance service. If you are in need of a big, prayer request, this is your opportunity. God is going to move. This is going to be big and you don't want to miss out. Again, join us as we worship and pray Faith and Healing and Deliverance, September 30th, 7 p.m. I wish I had this at my college. If you are a college student and you want to get connected with our campus ministry, make sure you visit the campus ministry table out in the lobby. Also, if you wanna volunteer and connect with the college ministry, go and visit the table outside in the lobby. I love it. I think I think I might volunteer. I still look like I'm in college. What do you guys think? Hey guys, my name is Valencia Hawkins. I am the leader of community groups. We're doing a big shift from the book of Mark to the book of Acts. And the reason for the shift is we wanna follow Pastor Hawkins over the next 14 weeks studying the book of Acts. We believe it's important to meet new people, stay connected, and learn the Word of God. We invite you to sign up on the Church Center app today. Beginnings are hopeful and hard. When we launched out to expand our resource of space, it was with great joy and excitement. We had been renting for seven years in a drab space, a space that didn't match our desire for God's kingdom, but we were faithful. We sold big vision and walked in excellence in spite of all the setbacks, obstacles, and barriers. The pressure mounted, the anxiety swelled, the trepidation amplified. Beginnings are hard. Vision is being able to see what you need to see in spite of what you don't see. Henry Ford said vision without execution is just a hallucination. Hopeful beginnings are accompanied by harsh realities. Realities like, will this work? Is this God? What if I fail? Is at these critical moments you must plan well and pray abundantly. We did both. Did I tell you beginnings are hard? Okay, I did. But beginnings are hard alone. But you all made the beginning become a completed task because we did it together. We went from a drab building with lots of setbacks to a place we can call home. Let's not stop here, my brothers and sisters. Let's move swiftly towards phase two, the gym and a second campus. Oh, am I talking about vision again? I'm asking you to continue your pledges, finish your pledges, and sow a sacrificial seed towards our next project. Phase two is calling. It's your girl, Shakaya. I hope you guys have a great week and always remember to listen to your friendly usher or greeter.